All right, hello everyone and welcome. It's time for some more uh, Fighter's Destiny here on the N64 Quest. And uh, so I I'll be honest, I haven't played this since uh, the other day. I played it the first stream and then I played a little bit over the weekend. And um, cool. Um, you know, like a like a fighting game, like most fighting games with me, it's um, I'm not very good at it. Um, that's a, pretty much a given. Um, the other thing is that, uh, first of all, I got, uh, another, we got another fight, uh, fighting game, uh, over the weekend, uh, on last Friday, uh, ARMS came out, so I'm currently trying to deal with the fact that, uh, I also suck at that, I'm trying to get better at that, I'm trying to get my way through the rest of this game, um, and just in general, I'm not very good at either of them, and they're both very, very different games and everything like that. Um, there's not a whole lot more to do except for the fact that I would theoretically uh, have to beat uh, beat Fighter's Destiny with like everybody, and I know that's not gonna happen because it's a lot harder than uh, than Clay Fighter, even on the easiest setting. Um, so I'm just gonna try and go through. Basically, try try uh, the other characters in the game. I think so far the best luck I've had uh, is with. I'm trying to think. Me, I I know that I was decent with with both of these two: Mei Ling, the quick character, and Valerie, the aerial character. Um, I sucked with him. Uh, I haven't really used him. But I tried to, like even though I go for the all around guys, I usually um, try not to be the the main guy, like if I'm playing Street Fighter, which I never really do, uh, I wouldn't pick Ryu right off the bat, even though he's probably the best character for me. Don't look down. Um, I'm gonna try this dude. It's time to uh, fight. just because he looks Hold interesting and I haven't feet. tried him at all yet, so. Ready. Uh, try, try the clown. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, Jesus, can I have some of my beer first, dude? Jeez. Alright. Okay, so the way that this guy's animations are, I completely whiffed uh, two moves right up, right off the bat to start this. So that's good. I think that's what they mean by tricky. Oh, oh, nope, nothing, nope. Wasn't gonna get it. Oh, he got me. I have no idea how to counter the the uh, throws or anything like that. Um, which, funny enough, is pretty much, uh, something that's been true in ARMS. I have no idea how to, like, counter stuff. Uh, the thing that I really need to learn is, is even though the computer can do it to me all the time, and the other players online can do it to me all the time in ARMS. Let's talk about a completely different game here. Um, boom! Okay, there we go. Did I maybe try this guy? Because I, I actually think that I, um... I think that was the thing about this guy is I uh, was able to do his special attack not not through any real skill or anything but just the same type of uh, motion making the same same type of input. Motherfucker, I have no idea what to do about that. Ready, fight. Um, everyone in fucking arms keeps doing the rushes on me and everything. And I've had my rushes dodged all the time. You know, sometimes I, I, I do hit them most of the time. Because I do save them, but... Fucking, I can't... I can't figure out for the life of me how I'm supposed to predict and dodge it. Even when I'm paying attention to the other person. Um, so it's not unlike this game where, like... Yeah, I'm fairly okay at doing throwdowns like that myself. But I don't have a 100% success rate. And then when the other person does it, I have no fucking idea how to how to counter it or block it or do whatever about it. So we're kind of dealing with the same idea. Like it's just a very very representative of me playing fighting games. Is, is I'm half decent at doing something, but when the other person does it, I have no idea how to, to respond to it. And realistically, if at the very least, I should. Fuck. At the very least, I'm like, okay, I should be at least as good at doing them as the other person is. Or they should be have as much trouble doing it as I do. 
actually pulling it off, but that doesn't happen because that was six and a half seconds right there before I just got fucking killed. Hey, Mike's here. Mike, uh, Mike beyond me. Hey. Yeah. So actually, a better, better way of being able to pull off things with, with this guy, I'm barely even able to do any throwdowns, but sometimes I nail that special punch right there and he, he gets a knockdown, so I only have to do that two times and I'm only one point away. You get a ring out, I can do whatever you want. Oh, great. Thanks. Okay. No. No, no, no. Yeah, I'd really like to just try all the characters and see which ones I like, both based on like style and if I can actually do anything with them. Um, Shrekka, they have this this mode here where they have different uh, they have different uh types of gameplay in this. So, uh, yeah, defeat a hundred fighters to win. That's not gonna happen, obviously. Um, so survival. Then just, this is doing it uh, as quickly as you can, um, and then, it's funny because this is, like, in all of these things you have to actually not lose the fight either, so that's, basically doing any of those sort of games right there also implies that you be able to survive the match in the first place and not lose, so that really doesn't help you very much uh, when you suck at this game. Um, I'm gonna start down here with this guy now. And, uh, that's probably the sound the clown would be making, realistically. I'm starting to get the feeling the way this guy hops around and shit. It's like the Eddie Gordo of this game. And that's why he's a question mark, because nobody knows what the fuck he's doing half the time. Uh, and Mike, yeah, that is absolutely, uh, the idea of- Hey, I don't know how I did that! Actually, this- this factors into, uh, what I was about to say. Uh, this is pretty much the this this N64's best answer. Imagineer probably was the best company to take on a game of this style because uh, the way that they did racing games, the way that they did you know the other stuff that they did, uh, getting less recognition of you know their baseball game, their racing games, so on and so forth, but doing a decent job of it. Pretty much their uh, bread and butter here, doing it on the N64 and not having any real competition but not necessarily, you know, running away with everything, you know, getting crazy sales. Oh, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Um, to add on to that, um, if I am successful at Virtual Fighter or Tekken, uh, I don't know how I did it. He did the same thing to me. How does... That's so cheap, though. Isn't that really cheap? Ready. Fight. I feel like that's that's kind of a bullshit move if he gets to do it like right away, right? There we go. Yeah. Winner. Yeah. Thing it sucks is is uh, I don't actually get to face everybody because I'll probably get my ass kicked either by this guy or whoever's after him. So I'm going to be fighting the same people over and over again and getting my ass handed to me on the second and third uh, stages. Thanks. I never, uh, I never mentioned the announcer, but the announcer has a, a select few um, phrases, and the one that really sticks out to me is, that was a very good move because he's incredibly enthusiastic about it. He's actually really, really happy uh, for whoever succeeds. He's a very good announcer in that sense. Um, yeah, South Peak picked up. Uh, I was, I was, I didn't, wasn't sure if I was gonna mention it here because it's such a completely different, much, much later. Um, but the sequel to this game. Um, so, hey, you gotta ring out. One point for me. Um, the sequel to this game is in a black cartridge. And it's picked up uh, by South Peak, um, who did some not so great uh, later games. I mean, they they might have had their moments, but regardless of whatever happened, they didn't sell well. Uh, that's one big thing about them is they didn't have a lot of you know actual success. 
but they didn't go bankrupt because they were they've been around for a long time. I think they're still around. Um, but South Peak released stuff like uh, Mia Ham Soccer, um, Rally Challenge. Uh, thank you. Um, and uh, what was the one I was thinking of? Oh, Big Mountain 2000 is another one that they did. So if you've heard of any of those games, <laughs> congratulations because uh, they were, like I said, not a very successful company, even though they released a few games on the N64, but they also did Fighter Destiny 2, which is the sequel to this game with a weird uh, change to the name in the sense that they called it Fighter Destiny instead of Fighter's Destiny. The change doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm curious because I do think this game is good, and I'm curious to see if um, Fighter Destiny 2 has the same sort of like hidden gem quality, excuse me, quality to it. Yeah, but there was also the thing was there were so many snowboarding games coming out at that time. Like uh, it gets lost in the shuffle. Like I, I always think it was weird because uh, actually the next game I'm going to be playing is uh, is the first Snowboard Kids, and I was going to get to that. Uh, how the release schedule for the month of uh, February '98 is is a little bit unusual. It's all sports games and Jeopardy. Um, but to start off, uh, it's Snowboard Kids, which is not really a sports game. It's more like a car racer on snow. Um, but yeah, the N64. Uh, so South Peak Interactive did Big Mountain 2000, which came out probably mid to late '99, I assume. Yeah, Snowboard Kids 2 is probably better. I haven't really played either of them all that much, but I, I do hear great things about Snowboard Kids. Both games, so excited. Um, of course, the the staple for everybody is 1080 snowboarding. Uh, there's also Twisted Edge, which uh, I'll reiterate this when I get to it. But when I when I was a kid, I thought the 1080 and Twisted Edge were the same game. They looked. I'd, I'd only played one of them. Um, I'd only played Twisted Edge, and I thought that the, because they're both snowboarding games, their packaging and everything looked exactly the same. I legitimately thought they were the same game under two different names. Um, nice. That's, yeah, I assume it is. I, it's weird, though, because I'm used to Twisted Edge. Um, so I can't actually get used to 1080 unless I put some real time into it. Because Twisted Edge is more simplistic. Um, and also I played more SSX as a kid. Keep going. Um, SSX, of course, murdered 1080. Uh, even though 1080 was only one system. Pretty much survived, even though. Could have survived like Blake Wave Race. Yeah, SSX is the best. Especially tricky, but all of them. Um, we're way off topic here, by the way. I'm just kind of... I, I win the first fight every single time, and then I get my ass handed to me by, the, by Ninja in the second round. So... Surprise though, I got two ring outs uh, in that last match. No, no, this, this is the way things go. Um, I like talking about the releases because it means I don't have to know that much about the intricacies of the game, especially the one that I'm playing that I suck at. Um, uh, fucking, so snowboarding games, yeah. Snowboarding games. If you count uh, Nagano Winter Olympics, like I said, uh, in that... Did I just... I just fucking... I tried to turn around and move back, and I fucking walked off the side of the ring. Thank God there's only one point, not that, not that I really have any chance for whether that's one point or five points. What the fuck was- Oh, that's my first counter! I didn't know how to do that. I didn't, uh, I never really looked into doing that, but, uh, nice, awesome. Yeah, the one, uh, one- Thing I had not seen at all up to this point was a uh, was a counterpoint win, uh, counterpoint win, and I'm the one who pulled it off. So bravo to me for that one because I have no idea how I did that. Ah, oh, fuck you, buddy. Um, Nagano 1080, uh, Twisted Edge, Snowboard Kids 1 and 2, Big Mountain 2000. When you start to think about it, there's a hell of a lot of snowboarding games on the N64 for a uh, not very large library, but. So you know what? I think the uh, uh, I think countering the throwdowns has something to do with uh, with just using R to block. But uh, 
Uh, PS1 has even more snowboarding games, of course, because there's so many fucking games on it. Um, but yeah, snowboarding games in the late 90s to early 2000s were fucking insane. They were everywhere. Capcom made one. Yeah. And yeah, so... Uh, I, I know I know the, um, about the GameCube one. The thing was that the 1080 Avalanche on the GameCube got, like I said, absolutely fucking murdered. Even just on the GameCube by by SSX. Um, but Tricky was the first one on the GameCube. That's not a... That's bullshit. I fucking hate... I hate that that's not a ring out. It's actually considered a throwdown, so he gets two points for it instead of one. Are you gonna try again? Continue. No, I didn't want that. No, you know what? Let's let's keep going. I wanna I wanna actually move past uh, Ninja. Oh, fucking first in my fucking throat. You know there was budget snowboarding titles. There were fucking just everything for snowboarding. Four, five cool borders games actually. They 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 put 2001 on uh, PS1, which you never see. Um, I didn't think of it, you don't see the first one that much either. It's two, three, four. Ready, fight! Yeah! Oh, that was good. I'm gonna try and recreate that button, uh, button sequence. No! Fuck that! That is the most bullshit move right there, and I, I stand by it. That should be one point. That should be a ring out, not a throwdown. That should be one point. Fatal flaw in this game. Those shitty moves that they pull when they're hanging off the side are not are not only considered one point. Thank you. No. Yes, I can dick. Get out of here. Yeah. See, I knock him down. That should be three points, right? He's falling on his ass. No, it's one point, right? One point. Oh, that was a good one. I like that one. A lot better than the uh, the suplex he was doing. Ready, fight. Yeah. Yo, as honest gamer Mike too. Just missed a lengthy discussion about of all things snowboarding games. Cause uh, I got nothing to talk about except how I got my ass kicked on this game. Oh, and how bullshit the uh, the throwdown move is on when they're dangling off the side. Nope. Yeah, one point. Sudden death now. Yeah, moving on to round three. Ugh. Winner. See, I should be using this guy. I just try not to use the the white bread characters, the main characters We're that are on the front of the game and everything. Now. They're all around. They're all around good characters. It's probably best for me, but uh, I'm stubborn and I decide not to do. Oh God! Oh no! Oh, Honest Gamer Mike knows exactly why I'm cringing at that. Oh, good lord. No, <laughs> sir. This is not a murder club. This is just a fighting tournament. Ah, I, uh... So, uh, Honest Gamer Mike and I talk about wrestling a lot, and especially old wrestling and, and things like that, and, uh... Pile drivers. Pile drivers are a point of contention for. Oh, he did it again. Pile drivers are a point of contention for both of us because we both absolutely cringe when we watch any type of pile driver that's not the uh, the tombstone pile driver. Um, which is he was doing that, but he's also doing a legit pile pile driver because this is a real fighting tournament, so it still is just as bad. Um, but when you watch. When you watch old wrestling, um, before they decided, basically before uh, Stone Cold uh, got 
basically the... Wow, that was two... Just under three seconds for that one. I'm... I'm I think I'm done with this one. Um... The pile, the pile driver is one of the most cringiest moves ever because it is so dangerous. If you miss that, if you miss that by just a couple inches of, of getting set up, see the the pedigree is not a pile driver though. The pedigree is a face buster, and the the thing about it is they get to protect themselves as they go down by with their hands. The pile driver is basically you're supposed to be protected by your opponent's uh, thighs. They land on their ass first if it's a Seto pile driver, or they land on their knees if it's a tombstone pile driver like the Undertaker does. And him and Kane are the only people that still do the tombstone pile drivers. And it all goes back to fucking Steve Austin and Owen Hart at 90 uh, SummerSlam '97. Austin's head was sticking out. What's up? Yeah, the stunner and, and the RK aren't pile drivers either, though. Um. Austin's head, you see a little top of his bald head there sticking out under Ho under Owen Hart's ass, drives him right into the canvas, and he fucking breaks his neck, and that's the injury that would end up ending his career. It is a career-ending move if you fuck it up. Come on. And, uh, yeah, okay. Owen Hart, great, great guy he is. Up. Amazing, amazing wrestler he was. Ready. He fucked that up. Uh, and, uh... Austin only lasted about another six years. Um, so anytime I look at old and, and it's the thing is you'd hear about it. Uh, you would hear about it in an old match uh, if somebody actually got hurt uh, taking a pile driver um, and you know caused an injury or ended their career or something like that. But it doesn't matter because anytime I, I see it, anytime I look at it, I go no, and I can't watch. But uh. Yeah, that that one right there, because especially because it was legit, it was like, no, his neck's broken now. That was awful. Ready. Uh, that's my that's the end of my uh, pile driver uh, rant because uh, that guy Bob he did a he did a pile driver on me twice actually on Ryuji, and uh, Ryuji's probably dead now because that's what happens. We get a mirror match going on with Leon. Maybe, maybe uh, Leon will actually come out on top for once. Ready. Get it? He has to. Yeah. It's a nice uh, muscle buster suplex right there. Is what it looked like. Get him. Yeah. It's a little bit like it. I'm not. I'm not sure that's exactly. It was like small little muscle buster. It's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, welcome. That'd be me. Ready. I'll always win the first one. Oh, that was a nice, uh, nice roundhouse kick. Too bad he missed. A lot of height on that. Maybe, maybe don't go go so high on it. He, I made him step out. That was me. Yes. Correct. He's holding his own. Except now he's in the second match, so he'll probably. Yeah. yeah, knock down. There's three more points. Three points. Ready. Going. What the? Was that was that an offensive maneuver for me, or was that? Okay, no, no, that was what it was supposed to be. Then. Oh, arm snap. Ready. Okay. He didn't really do anything. He just kind of ninjaed me, I guess. He ninjaed me in the face, and I fell over. That was weird. Stop talking my fist. There we go. Send me into round three. Yeah, it's it's not gonna uh it won't be kept up, I'm sorry. Ready. It's just the way it just goes. Ready! Fight! 
going. I'm just gonna do shin kicks on him. Don't pile driver me, bro. That is gonna fucking hurt. Come on. Yeah, not fucking with that. It sucks, you know it's a cheap ass move because they actually go and they start dangling on the on the edge of the arena. Oh my god, he did it again. Alright, I didn't actually see it that time. Uh, I didn't see his head go down, so that was not as bad. Wow, that is rough. Oh, he keeps fucking doing that, and it sucks. I hate looking at it. Beat me a different way, dude. So he beats me that way. The way I already described my fucking team. Ready! Fight! Ah, you're just a fucking cheap bastard, aren't you? Going. Oh, yeah. Nothing to lose. <laughs> you thought he was gonna get me that time. Ready! Kick him right in the face. Yes. Come on! Yeah. Stop. Sweep the leg. I had to say it at least at least once while I was doing a, a game about a legit fighting turn. That was me. That was me. I won that one. That was one point for me. I'm still gonna lose. Ready. One point! Oh my god, stop! Yeah, oh, come on! Uh, I hate when the animation gets, like, way in- Ooh! That was- Ooh, that was a crazy looking arm drag right there. Fucking snapped his arm right out of the socket. Ready! Ow! Yeah, talk about legit. Nice move. Pop that one back in, Bob. Oh my god, stop it! Stop do- I fucking hate when he does that, that's the worst. <sighs> Let's see, who else who else have I have I definitely not done at all? Uh, uh, actually there's not that many characters. I know I was him, uh, I know I've been him. Well yeah, there aren't actually that many characters. Um so I've done them all. Uh, I don't know if I did Abdul on the stream, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw in one more as uh, Abdul. Uh, but that'll really be it uh, for this. Like I said, um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Ooh, what the fuck? That must that looks like it hurt. Um, yeah, we already we already talked about Lamborghini. Sucks. Um, so this is this is the game that'll end uh, the, the post holiday thing uh, for uh, January ninety eighth, um, and uh, coming up after this, uh, all of February ninety eight, like I like I said, is uh, it's if you include snowboard kids as a sports game, it's all sports games in Jeopardy. Um, so it's gonna be a weird, ooh, you just breathe you just breathe fire on them. That is that is unusual. That probably is not legal. Um, it's like Powerpuff Girls is broken. Power Rangers, Powerpuff Girls, a lot of those ones are broken as shit. 
He does the fucking Cobra! Did you ever see that? <laughs> he does the Santino Morella Cobra! Oh fuck. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, Snowboard Kids because I, I hear so much about it and I haven't played uh, either of them. Um, so that'll be fun. It, it, it's supposed to play like Mario Kart on Snow, not really like a snowboarding game, so that'll be exciting. Um, then uh, Konami starts to show. Oh, no, just uh, Konami puts out their first basketball one in the in the Zone 98. Um, uh, then we get Jeopardy, of course. Um, we've got uh, Olympic hockey, which is why I I what the. F he did the fucking bangles dance. <laughs> um, nice. Oh my god, uh, he was my train of thought, laughing at all the weird moves that uh, this guy does. Um, in the zone, yes, uh, painted over Wayne Gretzky, Jeopardy, uh, the real hockey game, the first hockey sim, uh, Breakaway 98, uh, which is good. It's not NHL 99, but it's really good. And you know, first, first uh, simulation style. So that that'd be cool. Um, and uh, I think there's one. I think there's one more. Uh, it's another. If it's anything, it's another sports game. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a not a, a densely packed month, but it's a, a month packed full of just. The ones that people don't uh, necessarily anticipate. Winner. Check if there's one more that I'm missing. Um, get ready. No, that's ready. it. Yeah, snowboard, uh, snowboard in the zone, Olympic hockey, Jeopardy, wow. and breakaway. Snowboard in the zone, Olympic hockey, Jeopardy, breakaway. So it's weird. Two two hockey games right after one, uh, right after one another, and not that long after World Rescue 98, so for having not a lot of hockey games on it, they're, uh, they're a little bit close together. Nothing wrong with that for me, uh, because then we get to go and um, I can spend more time with them. Ready. It sucks though, because we'll be done with, uh, we'll be done with Wayne Gretzky, uh, any of the Wayne Gretzky type games at that point, because they'll all be done. He just does the weirdest, he has the weirdest moveset, doesn't he? He does spin in the air, he does the fucking bangles. He breathes fire, he's... Wow, I don't know, I, I played with him, uh, I played with this guy at Duel. Um, I played with this guy at Duel uh, when I was doing it by myself. Uh, and I didn't really take that much notice of all the weird things he does. He even does the Gorilla Press Slam. Man, he's a... It's it's especially weird to me because he's an all-around fighter too. Like it doesn't seem like a normal uh, somebody uh, a move set befitting somebody denoted as the all-around strength fighter. It seems like he'd be more. Of a, it seems like he's mostly a power guy. Oh, believe me, I know all about hits. Fuck. Yeah! One point! I win! Okay, this is gonna be all out. Ready! Fight! Come on! Why didn't you hit him while he was winding up? I tried to uh put in an input and he didn't do anything. They're booking Bob really strong here, guys. Yes. That's that's the the story of it. That's essentially what it is. Because Vince McMahon likes big sweaty man. Vince McMahon likes big sweaty man. No, seriously, like this big hulking Brazilian dude uh, does fucking pile drivers and, and all these other he does the fucking uh, Simone drop the uh, that kind of back body drop right there. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, they just like to book him really strong. 
was a very good move. Nothing to lose. Nice. Yeah, ring out. I got one. One point. One. All right. I can tell this is gonna be the end of the line for me. Yeah, Gorilla Press. Point one. Ready. Fight. Ow. All right. See you later, bro. I'm, I'm basically done. Uh, Cause I can tell I'm gonna lose anyway. Nothing to lose. Going. Nothing to lose. Come on. Yeah, one more point. We're not dead yet. Ready. Fight. Little by little, I'm surviving, but one, like one point at a time. Nope, not now. Nope. Hey, that was good. That was a good sequence. There we go. Wow. Ready. Fight! Oh, not gonna happen this time. Oh! Nope! And of course he ends it on a fucking pile driver. Just as a big fuck you to me. Alright. Uh, so, uh, that's, uh, that's Fighter's Destiny, everybody. It's, it's, you know, it's a pretty cool game. I think it'd be a little bit better, uh, like Dead or Alive Tekken and Virtual Fighter. All those other ones that it's clearly based on if you were playing with somebody else, but it doesn't, it, it's not a terribly weak single player game. I'm just not good at fighting games. Don't, don't judge uh, the game based on the fact that I suck. Uh, like any fighting game. Um, so like I said, I've already been over it. That stuff is Snowboard Kids. Um, weird little stretch coming up, but not terrible. And I'm looking forward to some of those games anyway. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see y'all later for some snowboard kids at some point this week.